Hey all my Crimsonites and welcome to the Crimson Cure channel where we embrace our femininity, increase our womanly values, and celebrate our brothers. So join me on our feminine journey to learn, heal, and grow. Hey there, my Crimson Knights, and welcome to the Crimson Cure channel. I'm your hostess, femininity coach, and author of the Crimson Cure. And this is my perspective. So, <laughs> you know, it's, it's not funny because somebody, you know, I'm just going, I'm not even going to. Y'all see what this is. 34-year-old woman dead, another in critical condition after undergoing liposuction procedure in a Somerville home, not a Somerville clinic, not a hospital, right? Not a, not a clinic or a hospital, but a home. So hopefully, you know, I'm going to play this clip. Hopefully, you know, YouTube lets it go back. Cause they don't be liking me to play news clips, but whatever. Um, here we go is underway in Everett and Somerville. A law enforcement source tells the NBC 10 Boston investigators that it's all in connection to an alleged illegal liposuction operation. So here's what we've learned so far. One person has died. Another person was hospitalized. And we actually just received some brand new information in from authorities. Let's get to NBC 10's Laura Melendez. She's joining us live from Somerville. Lauren, catch us up to speed. What have you learned so far here? Guys, this is just a horrific situation that seems to get worse the more we uncover things. And I want to clarify because it can get a little dicey. There are two victims here, one in uh, in Somerville. That woman is hospitalized. Everett Police, they confirmed that it was in connection to illegal liposuction. But then we have a woman who died in Everett as a result of this. And now we know, again, there are multiple victims. 13-year-old Alan Blandone says his aunt got liposuction. Last week, an incredibly risky and life-threatening decision, according to a Newton board-certified plastic surgeon. Everything from death, as you mentioned, to just mutilation, bad scarring, and, and organ impairment. Alan's aunt is in the hospital now after he says she was the victim of an illegal surgery. Police wouldn't confirm what type of surgery it was, but we watched as they searched for clues about what happened. They uncovered a medley of bloody gauze and medical supplies in the trash. We have a whole cabinet full of... Now, I'm on a... I'm on a I'm going to mute this right here because the one thing I don't like is calling these people victims. How you, they act like these women was abducted and then brought to a, 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 a strange facility, an unlicensed illegal facility, and then experimented on against their will. No, no. Y'all are running around here getting, Bad BBLs. It don't surprise me that who they're featuring is are not black women. Because if you, they saying this is in Boston, right? But when I went down last year, I went to Florida. And the first thing I saw was a BBL. And it wasn't on a black woman. It was on a Hispanic woman. And... I have seen BBLs on some of everybody. So it's not exclusively a black woman thing, these BBLs here. But I'm not even here to talk about whether she they're black or not. I'm here to talk about what is going on. Oh, y'all, these BBLs killing y'all. And her thighs don't match like the thigh. Wow, well, wow, well, wow. Well. Turn to your neighbor and say, these BBLs killing y'all. Because these BBLs killing y'all. What's going on with y'all? Huh? Y'all going to homes. Y'all are going to everywhere. If you cannot afford a, an elective cosmetic surgery, which is what liposuction slash BBLs are, okay? If you cannot afford a, an elective cosmetic surgery, you don't need it. You don't need to have that surgery. You may need the weight off. 
You may need whatever, whatever it is that you desire your body to be. You need to go get that in the kitchen and in the gym. You need to make sure that you're eating properly and you need to make sure that you're working out somewhere, getting some type of exercise in somewhere, some way, somehow. Because ain't no way y'all thought it was a good idea and that it wasn't going to be any bad outcome to going to a home for somebody to start cutting on you and using a tool which is dangerous in the best setting. It's, 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 it's a risk in the best setting. It's risky in a clinic with a certified physician with all of the things at their disposal to help you through that procedure. Right. And I'm not saying don't get a cosmetic surgery of, of, of some sort if that's a, you know, because people going to do what they want to do. I'm not a fan of BBLs. I'm a fan of doing the work yourself. I'm a fan of if you got to lose weight and you've got to, you know, you, you got weight to lose or you want your body to look a certain way. You know, you're not pleased with your body. Change what you can change. Some of the stuff you can change. Some stuff you may have to just live with and, and be comfortable in your skin. But going to these places and risking your life for an image, risking your life in order to, I don't know who y'all competing with, thinking that, I guess, thinking that this is going to boost your self-esteem and looking a certain way does boost your self-esteem. But it's better when you work for it versus when you go under, uh, in this case, not even a real doctor, when you go under the knife with somebody that going under the knife for any reason, whether you, whether this was a medical procedure that you needed for your health, whether this was an elective procedure that you just wanted or whatever the case may be, no matter what reason you're doing this, there's always a risk, even in the best circumstances. So why do y'all go? to these unlicensed, un, non-professional people with non-professional settings. This is why I call them the back, back alley BBLs. They back alley BBLs because you might as well be, I mean, you unfortunately you get what you pay for. Both the, the woman that passed away and the one that's being hospitalized, you get what you pay for. Because even if, let's say, you was able to walk out of there, who is to say that the complications would would not follow you? Because there are infections. You know what I'm saying? You don't know what they did during the procedure that they wasn't able supposed to do or didn't know that they were supposed not supposed to do that. You know, they're damaging internal organs. You got to be careful with that liposuction, liposuction because you're only getting the fat that's under the skin. That's, that's the fat that you're getting. You're literally sucking the fat, fat out from underneath the skin. I think they call that the subcutaneous fat. Like that's what you're getting. Not all the fat all around your organs and all of that. That's your visceral fat. Liposuction, they're not doing liposuction for that. At least I don't think they shouldn't be if they are. But in any case, usually you're getting the subcutaneous fat removed. And even that's risky. Right? All because of social media, all because women are trying to keep up with a particular image. They're trying to keep up with a particular look or whatever. This is how you know that body positivity stuff is a scam. It's a cap. Oh, just be comfortable with what you are because too many women are risking life and limb to achieve a look in the quickest way possible, usually without having to employ the work ethic and the discipline necessary to make sure that your diet is proper and make sure that the exercise that you're doing is sufficient enough to give you the results that you're trying to get. 
want to do it the lazy way. And unfortunately, y'all are paying for it with the with the with the very thing y'all are paying with literally with y'all life. The money that you saved because you couldn't afford going to whatever kind of clinic. You couldn't afford going to those clinics in order to get it. Doesn't the money you saved it, it, it is meaningless because you gave your life. The real price was your life for the lady that passed away. The real price was her health for the lady that is in critical condition because we don't know what is actually wrong with her or what the results are going to be or if she's going to make it. Y'all are paying heavy prices for, for these lifestyles and for these looks that y'all going for. Y'all getting on these makeshift BBL tables and giving your life. And some of y'all taking Birkin bags and busted lips all to try to live a lifestyle. Y'all better stop and come back down to reality and get in your lane and live life like it's supposed to be lived. Jump down in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Like, share, subscribe to the channel if you have not. Once again, I'm your hostess, The Crimson Cure, and this was my perspective. Bye-bye, Crimsonites.